Yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to Lily White Lane. This Harry Kane situation is absolute chaos. Every source, every journalist seems to be reporting different things. We're hearing that there's a deadline for the Brentford game, and if Harry Kane starts that, then he'll be playing for Spurs for the rest of the season. Then we're hearing that this deal is far away. Then this morning we heard that an agreement's in place between Bayern Munich and Tottenham Hotspur for Harry Kane. Then we're hearing that it's an 85 million bid from Bayern that's been accepted. Then we're hearing it's a 95 million bid that's been accepted. So many different rumours reports and updates from so many different journalists is just making this saga unbelievably confusing and unbelievably frustrating. And as a Spurs fan, I'm bored to death of it. I'm absolutely bored to death of it. The amount of rubbish we've been fed this summer about Harry King. There was a deadline a few Fridays ago. And then was the deadline for last Friday. If a deal wasn't done, then it's off. Then there was a deadline for this Monday. Now there's a deadline for the Brentford game, but the deal was far away, but an agreement's in place, but personal terms are agreed. It just doesn't add up. At least one of these journalists are lying. There's obviously more lying, but at least one of them are, because every single one seems to be reporting different things. Romano, Cava, Damasio, you know, they all seem to be reporting different things. And it doesn't add up. It just doesn't add up. This Harry King situation is chaos. As a Spurs fan, I'm bored of it. Bayern fans, I even know, are sick and tired of it. Liam from the Bayern View, a good friend of mine and of this channel, and he's been on this channel in the past, has constantly and consistently said he's bored of this saga. He wants Harry Kane, but he's bored of it. And we're all getting bored of it because we're constantly being fed different rumours, different reports, different things about deadlines, and then they're not being deadlines. I want something substantial. I want to hear all journalists report on the same story so I know I can believe it. You know, there's, well, not rumours even, reports coming out from pretty much everyone this morning that there's an agreement in place that personal terms are close, or personal terms are agreed and the deal is close. But then Cavers coming out this afternoon on Sky Sports saying, my source is that absolute knob. Your only source is the ones we get off Twitter like everyone else, mate. And he's coming out and going, my source is telling me that a deal's far away. Who do we believe as fans, as Spurs fans, as Bayern fans? Because every journalist re is reporting different things. It's absolute chaos with this Harry Kane situation. And I love Harry Kane. Don't get me wrong. I've said it in every single video where I've spoke about him. But I want closure to the situation. I either want to know that he's staying or that he's going. Because I'm sick and tired of the constant rumours, reports and updates that we're getting that don't add up together. And don't make sense. So clearly someone's lying. Clearly someone's lying. I'm sick and tired of it. If Harry Kane's going to go, let him go. Let him go. I've said consistently and constantly in every video I've spoke about Harry Kane, I think it's absolutely stupid to keep this man for one more year when it looks highly likely that he won't sign a new contract and it will go for free next summer when there's a club coming in with an 100 million offer for him this summer. I think that's stupid. Yet you've got Spurs fans as well going on talk sport and going on different YouTube channels. I'm not going to name any names, but they're coming out and saying... This is a joke. This is an absolute disgrace that Daniel Levy is going to sell Harry Kane to Bayern Munich. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I understand if you're ranting about Daniel Levy letting down Harry Kane because I agree. I despise Daniel Levy in his ownership. That's why I say Enoch out at the end of every video. I understand if you're ranting about Daniel Levy taking so long to deal with the situation. But there's some Spurs fans that are ranting at Daniel Levy for looking to sell Harry Kane. I don't understand that. So what would you do then? Spurs fans who are ranting at Daniel Levy for looking to sell Harry Kane. What would you do? Keep him for another year so you can have a little party, get all excited and then he goes for free next summer and you look back at what you said and you look back at the fact you kept him as a huge mistake because there was 100 million on the table for a player with a year left on his contract who looks highly likely to leave. And there's Spurs fans going, don't sell Kane, don't sell Kane. If he signs a new contract, I'll agree with you. But he's not signing a new contract. I would love nothing more than Harry Kane signing a new contract. It's one of my favourite Spurs players of all time. But when he's not signing a new contract, he's got a year left on his deal, and his Spurs fans getting annoyed at the fact we're looking to sell him, I think that's stupid. Like I say, don't get it twisted with what I'm saying. I know people will, and people will take things out of context. But if people are ranting on these YouTube channels and on Talk Sport about Daniel Levy and Enoch letting down Harry Kane. I completely and utterly agree. If people are ranting about how long this saga is taking, how much nonsense we're being fed as fans, I completely agree. But ranting about letting a player go with a year left on his contract when there's 100 million on the table now, 
I think that's stupid. What, so you can have a little short-term benefit, get excited for a season, and boom, he goes next summer. A season's not even enough for Harry Kane to break the transfer, well, not the transfer record, for Harry Kane to break the uh, the Premier League goal scoring record. I don't understand some of these Spurs fans' logic. I really don't. So you'd keep Harry Kane, would you, for another year? Some of these people speaking on Talk Sport and on separate YouTube channels. You'd keep Harry Kane for another year, would you? Just let him go for free next summer. And you'd be happy to do that. You'd be happy to do that. And people go, oh, it's not our money. It's Daniel Levy and Enix money. Daniel Levy and Enix money is Tottenham's money. That's the money. And although we, we know as Spurs fans all of it won't be invested because we know they're stingy tight asses, that's the money that gets invested back into the team. You don't want £100 million for a player with a year left on his contract. £100 million that could bring someone in, such as a Vlahovic, a proper striker in the long term. But no, we'll just keep him for another year. We'll keep a player for another year who's not going to sign a new contract, who doesn't fit into the manager's long-term plans because he doesn't know if he wants to be there. It doesn't make sense. Like I say, if Harry Kane signs a new contract, party time. Party time. I will be more happy than most Spurs fans because I love this guy. But genuinely, keeping him for another year when there's £100 million on the table and he looks highly likely not to sign a new contract is ridiculous. And the fact that fans are ranting about that it amazes me. It absolutely amazes me. Look, guys, I've had an afternoon rant today about the absolute nonsense I've been hearing from some Spurs fans calling into talk sports, some Spurs fans calling in different shows. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'm sick and tired as a Tottenham fan of this saga. I know Bayern fans are sick and tired of this saga. I want an end to it. I want a conclusion to it. If Harry Kane isn't going to sign a new, contra uh, a new contract, I want him to go as soon as possible. If he is, I want him to stay here till retirement. Guys, you know my thoughts and opinions. I know people take what I've said out of context, but listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, please. Guys, thank you for watching, though. You guys are awesome. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and tap the notification bell. Thank you for watching this video. Take care of yourselves. All the best. Have a smashing day. And as always, Comedy Spurs in Big Andrew.